Good morning. I'm Gilma Avalos, and Storm Tracker 4 shows us what's headed our way. We have new winter weather advisories northwest of the city, and we have more coastal flood alerts on the Jersey Shore, all ahead of a monster storm packing a lot of rain and a lot of wind. And we have you covered here at 11. News Force Tracy Strahan and Romney Smith are out as residents and businesses across the tri state prepare for what's ahead. But we begin in the Storm Team 4 Weather Center with Dave Price and the latest track. Dave? All right, we're going to begin with the picture you just showed us, and you can see the severe weather to the southeast right now. This is a very strong, powerful low, not a coastal storm, but one packing a punch with upwards of four inches of rain and winds which could exceed 60 miles per hour. Storm Tracker 4 is big red sweep right now, giving us a real-time indication of what's going on. Snow hitting the ground in northern New Jersey as you head to Orange County. And as we take a look closer to the city, rain is beginning to advance upon us. In the next several hours, the rain will begin to fall. That's the beginning. That snow I was referring to, we could get three to five inches of that in the highest elevations, creating slippery conditions before we transition to rain and those temperatures begin to move on up. All of that eventually melting, all of that contributing to what may be that flooding circumstance that we're going to see so widespread later on in the evening and through tomorrow and potentially beyond. Hour by hour, this is about 11 o'clock, we take it to early afternoon. That's when the heavier rain begins to roll on through. Take a look at those temperatures, 40s in the city just around the freezing mark to the northwest, but those numbers are going to rise, and there you see it. By 9 o'clock tonight, heavy rains over much of the area and winds which could exceed 60 miles per hour in isolated locations along the coastline. Two to four inches, widespread, major river flooding. That's why the flood watch is in effect. And again, all of this begins to really crescendo as we head into the evening and early overnight. We'll talk about how long those effects may last and how to prepare when we see you for our full forecast minutes from now. Back to you. Just a few hours away now, Dave. Thank you. And we continue our team coverage in New Jersey with News Force Tracy Strahan. She is in Patterson, where she heard from the mayor a short time ago. And Tracy, he's taking no chances here, declaring a state of emergency now in anticipation of this flooding. You have to keep in mind that this is a city that is still weary from the winter weather they endured just a couple of weeks ago. And that's why all eyes right now on the Passaic River behind us, but also on helping residents this time around. Now, again, we spoke to Patterson's mayor a short time ago where he signed an emergency declaration giving some early details as well about how the city is preparing for this storm. Now, crews right now are clearing storm drains of the snow that fell a couple of days ago. That, combined with the heavy rain and wind, are certainly a concern. At least three high-water vehicles, along with swift boats and other rescue vehicles, are on standby as we speak. As the mayor says, they did perform water rescues during that Christmas time storm. One of the most delicate was a dialysis patient whose home was overcome by floodwaters. And when asked what changes will be made for this storm, Mayor Saya says Patterson residents will be offered emergency shelter right on Temple Street in town should they choose to leave their homes. Now, last time around, it was in Little Falls, so this time it's closer to home. We had a snowstorm, so that only compounds the situation because it creates somewhat of a crushing combination. You have snow that's melting, and then you have rain that's on the way. So that poses a problem for the Passaic River, which stated by coordinated errors, it crested at over 10 feet a few weeks ago. We are concerned about flash flooding and, and urban flooding on, on localized streets due to the, the previous snowstorm that we had last week. So if you see any water, um, any roadways that are flooded, please turn around. Don't drive through the waters, don't drive through barricades. Now the Passaic River is expected to hit major flood stage by Thursday, so it's not something you'll see right away. And as of right now, Patterson schools are remaining on their regular schedule. The mayor says he's in constant contact with the superintendent on this situation. As we bring you back live, again, all eyes on the Passaic River and when it will crest and just by how much. As for that temporary shelter, Patterson mayor says it's going to be in effect for the next five days at least. And Dave talked about the crescendo of the storm, Gilma, as we send it back to, do, to you. Well, it's the intro right now because the rain has started. Back to you. All right, Tracy, here we go. Thank you. Now we check in in Queens and News 4's Romney Smith. She's in East Elmhurst, a known flood zone there. Romney? 
Hey there, you know, this is a known flood zone indeed, so much so that back in 2021, President Biden visited because of the feet of water that really devastated this particular neighborhood. We spoke with neighbors this morning who say they know the storm is coming and they just hope that this current weather system doesn't leave their basements flooded. Right now, we know that New York City's flash flood emergency plan is already activated, knowing severe weather is coming and the damage it can do in the city. Crews were out checking and clearing storm drain catch basins on Monday to prepare for the wet and windy weather. The city's emergency management department is doing its best to get the word out about several things. For example, a citywide flood watch starting tonight, a high wind warning for Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, as well as parts of Nassau and Suffolk counties, too. A coastal flood warning for South Queens and a coastal flood advisory for Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Staten Island on Wednesday morning. City leaders say they are paying close attention to the storm and are making sure that nothing takes them by surprise with the combination of rain, wind, and flooding. Neighbors in this area say they've been through this before and they're preparing now. We put a board by the door so nothing from the alley could start seeping in. Now, inside the house, we put flood barriers by the shower, the toilet, the trap. This way, if and when it starts to come up, we can try to save some things. Again, an advisory from the City Hall says there will be a coastal flood advisory from 5 to 10 a.m. on Wednesday with, quote, an inundation of one to two feet above ground level that might cause minor flooding. Now, in addition to prepping for the rain, which has already started to fall right now, leaders are saying everyone should do their part. If you've got a deck, if you've got a balcony, a backyard, and you have anything that could become a projectile with those high winds, they're asking for you to secure it down or bring it inside for everyone's safety. Reporting live in East Elmhurst, Queens, Romney Smith, News 4 New York. Gilma? Get ahead of it right now. Romney, thank you. And you can track the forecast anytime with the NBC4 app. You can download it for free on your phone or tablet.